All right, this is episode uh, 0603 2010 of the MIT Sloan Fellows blog. Uh, I'm your host, Ian Lamont. And today I am speaking from right outside of Dewey Library, which is right behind me. And you may also notice some tents around here. I'll just do a quick run around here. And the tents are outside of uh, Dewey and also the Sloan building, which is right back there because uh, convocation, graduation is tomorrow. So that means all of the current uh, Sloan Fellows plus the uh, two-year MBAs are graduating. And um, already some of the other departments at MIT, they've had ceremonies today, because I've seen people walking around campus in their caps and gowns and uh, with their parents, and everyone's really happy. So it's a wonderful day for them, and congratulations to them. Actually, uh, tonight, the Sloan Fellow 11s, that's from my year, will be getting together with some of the Sloan Fellows 10s at the Muddy, which is uh, one of four bars on campus. I didn't know MIT had any bars on campus, but there are actually four of them. So the Muddy is on Memorial Drive. We're going to go down there in about a half an hour. This kind of a bonding and get-together and a farewell for the uh, Sloan Fellows who are uh, departing this year, 2010. And uh, so that should be pretty nice. The other reason why I'm on campus today, uh, classes haven't formally started, but for people who wanted it, uh, you could come down today to do a, a math review, so the algebra and word problems, business type uh, issues like figuring out compound interest rates over a couple of years or whatever. Uh, so people who felt that their math was a little shaky or needed some uh, review in the in the word problems area could come down and sit in this uh, session with one of the PhD students named uh, Alan Benson. It was a pretty good it was a pretty good session. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm I'm very comfortable actually with the algebra part of it because I just finished a pre-calculus class. Uh, I had my final exam on Tuesday. That was an online class through through UC Berkeley. MIT asked me to take it. Um, and I did it. It took about a month and a half or two months to finish. Uh, but that really brought up my math to a very high level. Um, it's, I'm able to function pretty comfortably with algebra and a lot of other problems too, logarithms, trigonometry, things like that. But doing the word problems is tricky. And uh, anyone who's taken the GMAT knows this. Figuring out the equations that you have to plug into, a, a, that you have to use for a word problem to solve it can sometimes be very uh, difficult and unpleasant. So it was good to have that math review today. Uh, about, I'd say, 40 other uh, Sloan Fellows from uh, from my year were in there as well, so I'm not the only one who's feeling a little rusty or need a, need a little extra help for these things, but we want to get prepared before classes start, which is next Monday. Um, the last thing that I want to mention is uh, before classes start, we're supposed to be reading, so this is the book that they had us uh, pick up, or they gave to us. It's The Undercover Economist. kind of explains some basic uh, econ concepts and uses some really great examples, mainly the uh, price of coffee and how uh, that affects the economies of countries and how uh, pricing is affected depending on location and a bunch of other variables. So this is a really great book to read. I, I'm enjoying it a lot. It actually makes me think about when I go shopping somewhere, it really makes me think about how the pricing works. So I'm sure we're going to learn a lot more about that. But this is a good introduction. I have to finish this by Monday. And I think there's also a case study we have to read for our marketing class, which begins next week too. So anyways, that's all for this episode. And I'll see you next week, I hope. Bye-bye.